Again, I'm eating. <laughs> yeah. So you're watching us. You can listen to Troy Man now, 630Ched.com. You can do both at the same time. You can watch us, look at us. Lewis has taken random pictures of us. That's a little it's a little strange. You're not a trained photographer. Mark Nessie is a trained photographer, and he's the best right. in the business. Mark, how are you today? Good. Thank you for having me. Are, are you tired from last night's game? I mean, you were walking the catwalks the entire night. I, I'm a little tired, but I slept in a little bit. I stayed up there the entire time, so I didn't have to keep going up and down the yeah. stairs. The best nights are when Mark goes up and he's like, ah, I'll go up there for the second period, and then he's got to run down to the photo well and then run onto the ice and then right. back to the photo well, send us pictures, run back up, turn he's the lights up. He's very active. Yeah. He's only one man, you know. He's like a cat. He is. I mean, all pictures in Condors Town come from his lens, and Mark, are you enjoying your time as a Condors photographer? This is now your, well, second full-time and basically your third season with Bakersfield. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a blast. I'm a sports guy, so I love taking photos of sports and hey, talk right yeah, in. Talk right in the mic. People right want to hear mic, from you. Man. Don't be, I don't thought be was, shy. I thought, was, shy. I thought I was holding close. Yeah. But, no, it, it's a ton of fun. I'm a mic. sports guy, so I love taking photos of sports, and it's one of those things where no matter how many events you shoot, it's always something different, especially with hockey because there's so many elements in the game plus fights. <laughs> I, I, th- I think you've I think you've gotten a lot better over the, over three years as well. So what is the key? I mean, what did you what did you figure out between season one and season three? Like, what are the things that you have to do to get the shots that you want? I think the the biggest thing, and I still have trouble with it now, is I have to accept the fact that I can't get everything. So I really have to just narrow it down. You can't? No. Oh. So <laughs> if I have to, what are we paying you for? <laughs> <laughs> if you doubled my pay, I could do yeah, that. There you go. <laughs> there, that's how you do it. But that's how you do it. I, I, I realize that if I want goalie shots, then I just have to control that or focus on that and don't deal with what's going on on the other side because right. it, there are limitations, especially shooting from the glass. Whereas if I'm shooting up top, I can actually get both ends pretty pretty well, but can't well, shoot up top. Before we time. get to your pictures, I want to tell you about the road trip coming up this weekend. Condors at Ontario Friday. And look at this picture. Uh, it's a little pixelated, Mark, but th- th- this doesn't look like anything in Ontario. Uh, uh, any trip we've been down, there's not enough cars. There's not <laughs> enough cars there. I was going to say, it looks like I a 210 to me. I don't see red lights. Uh, there has to – I mean, there's more cars this on the was taken Friday. at like eight, uh, 9 in the morning. That was taken at like 3 in the morning. Like maybe. nobody's on the air and the sun's out somehow. Then the Condors host Ontario. You can get one of these hats or one of the ones that Greg Miller wore. He stole it, by the way. He stole it. He's wearing it. Ontario, Condor, Saturday night. And then Sunday afternoon, we'll get on the bus uh, late Saturday night after the game. We'll head to Las Vegas, take on the Las Vegas Wranglers coming up Sunday afternoon, 2 o'clock start time. But I want to show some of Mark's pictures as well. He brought by his favorite pictures from this season. How did you pick well, these Well, hold picks? on. Don't go to the playoff yet. Too early. Too, Too early. early. Come Too on. Early. Come on, guy. There we go. Yeah, now we're talking. Right. Yeah, this is my favorite picture of the year. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Why do you like this one, Mark? Well, I think the biggest thing that I'm responsible for is getting action shots, and I think you've got good action, but when you guys broke this down, you've got even better reactions. You've got <laughs> the whole spectrum of human emotion in everyone <laughs> in the background. Everybody. It's like everything. It's laughter. It's uh, fear. Yeah. It's it couldn't care less. I think Bergie's it's disgusted. Oh no. Bergie and Leachie are disgusted. Yeah, I, I, he looks like he's sneezing. <laughs> It's great. That's, That's a great, great shot. We All right, were... next one. Let's All take right. a look. This is a cool angle. Yeah, and because when you shoot enough games, you kind of get the same stuff over and over, so I try to mix it up as, as much as I could, and whenever you get something different, it really stands out. So here you've got the action on the ice, but then you've got the fan interaction as well, and I think it kind of captures the, the fan aspect of it. I think that the fans are one of the reasons that Bakersfield's so tough to play at home lately. And you get the fans on the glass as well, and on then, the reflection. And in the top right, you can see that it's 5 nothing in yeah. the first period. That's perfect. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. That's even better. I mean, that's a great shot as well. It is a great shot. And then I like these ones as well, the Condor starting lineups. Yeah, this is where you can kind of get creative because when you're doing stuff on the ice, it's really just point and shoot, whereas the player intros, you can kind of mix it up and get something that's more artistic. And then your favorite you photo, of all, he there, called, he the he called this like one his favorite Condors photo he's ever taken. If I'm not mistaken, Bartz, I wasn't here, but that looks like you talk Fuka Fuji. You didn't take that. Yeah. You did? Yeah, I did. How old were you? 12? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was like five years yeah, ago. Yeah, this, this was my very first season helping Michael Duffy out, who's been the Condors team photographer since the dawn of time. Right. And he really taught me everything I know, and so I can't 
thank him enough for giving me this opportunity. But Duff was the master. Yeah. He, everything I've done, he's been there, done that. But for this one, my first season here, never shot hockey before. And I came in thinking, you know, it'd be really cool to get a photo of a goalie making a glove save and the puck's in the glove. And it didn't take me long to realize that that's extremely difficult. <laughs> and this was actually the very last game of the season. And it was just wow. right place, right time. And as Bartz would say, Fuka Fuji. hi -ya! hi -ya! Yeah. All right, Fantastic. now let's get to the playoffs. We're, we're ditching the standings. We're getting rid of the standings. We're never doing standings again. We're just going to tell you what the playoffs would look like if they started right now at this very moment. And science! Yeah. So we got Alaska as the one seed against Las Vegas as the eight. Colorado is the four. Idaho the five. Utah the three. Stockton's the six. Bakersfield the seven. Ontario the It's very two. confusing. This is one and eight, two, two and, and seven. seven. Three and four and five. Four and five and three and six. Yeah. So the winners of these two series would play each other and the winner of these two series. Now this will change by next week. So we'll re update this and this is what we're looking for. You come out, you play each other, and then the Kelly Cups though, over there. This is a bracket. So however they finish, bracket. that's how they'll finish. So technically we're speaking, it could be eight versus six in the conference finals. Yes. Yes. But you cannot have one versus whatever, seven in the second round, like you would in the NHL. The NHL recedes. The ECHL, no receding. Straight bracket, just like March Madness. Makes it very easy. All right. All right, let's go on to the picks. Let's pick. I don't even know what we picked. We're I crunched. Think. I don't have my... I never oh, know. There we go. We're going picked. through the lane. Great shot. Fantastic. I like the lane. hi All right. Hey, whole thing was right, three and keep, last let's, week. Let's go. You're the Come guest, on. Mark. Let's move. All right, Colorado Three, you know, at for the Las first Vegas. time in his life. Mark, first I didn't, I didn't pick off your pick, so you're just going to have to tell me what you picked because I don't know. I went with Colorado, which is the birthplace of Chipotle. Wow. And Mark likes Chipotle, as you could have read in your nightly notes this past weekend. So uh, he does. All right, after. Uh, yeah, I got Colorado, too. Las Vegas is playing okay, but they're not good still. And uh, zing. Woo, they're playing. They're playing much better lately. They're at home. I like it. I like them being the spoiler down what the stretch, so I'm going out. Are they still at Orleans, or are they moved to the, the tent, tent yet? They're, They're not, not at the tent, tent yet, folks. All right. All right, moving on. Next game. Idaho is at Utah. What do you got, Mark? I got Utah at home. Is Chipotle a big franchise there, too, as well? I'm pretty sure there's a Chipotle. I get Utah as well. <laughs> I like Utah more than I like Idaho. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I picked Utah. At least I hope I did. Thank hey, you. Yeah, three for three. All, All right, right. moving on. Last game. Alaska at Stockton. I mean, they shouldn't even play this game. Got Alaska in this one. <laughs> Me too. And I think I did as well. Yeah, see? And there you yeah, have it. Yeah. So there's only one game of discrepancy, so I can make up some ground on bar two this <laughs> no, week. No, you can't because I'm going to win that one too. Ooh. Hey. Yeah, I said it. Hey. Mark, what Great. are you looking forward to shooting this weekend? All the kids in the caps? <sighs> yeah, and Ashley, who is the director of creative services, has been – Friend she of the program. She's had some special requests for a different type of look, and so we're going to experiment. And if it works out, they'll be posted on Facebook. Oh. And if they don't, don't post them on Facebook. And on your Facebook, <laughs> Mark Nessia Photography. Go check it out. He's Mark Nessia, of course. And, if he can uh, he shoot a, a Condors job. game, he could shoot your wedding. He could shoot your wedding, birthday party, whatever. Give the guy some work. Where do you go? Where do you go? What's your website, Facebook? Yeah, uh, it's just my name, MarkNessia.com. Yeah, right. MarkNessia.com. I need my own website. I'm Ryan Holt. He's Kevin Bartle. Mark, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. Bartle, say goodbye. Good afternoon, Alberta.